Duckies, Andy LaPierre, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and what a start to the year, Exceldro has already created an incredible plugin. Who remembers this old mess of the transition override matrix? Yeah, it doesn't look the best, but guess what? Exceldro has got our solution. Stay tuned, let's get on with it. Put your rug over the stone. So just like all the other plugin videos, you just need to get it downloaded from the OBS website. So as you can see just here, this is the, the website. The link is in the description below. Bit distracted, it started snowing again. Happy New Year, guys. So this is it just here, and look how clean and tidy it looks. So to download it, just press the little download button and download whatever platform you want. It's completely up to you. You should not install plugins by now. If not, just download it and copy the files into the correct directory or just use the Windows installer. Where you just press next, next, boom, it's all installed. Once that's installed, you need to make sure you restart OBS, make sure it's not open whilst you're installing it, and we can start playing around with how it works. So I've got four scenes, as you can see just here. I've got scene two, scene three, scene four, and scene one. So one's a be right back, one's just my logo, one's a uh, you're starting soon, and the other one's a picture of me looking fly. And uh, right now, they all cut. Regardless of which ones I go from and to, they all cut. To check you've got it installed, in the top left hand corner where it says tools, you'll be able to see transition table. If you're not seeing that there, that means you have not got it installed. Reinstall it again, try again, restart OBS, restart your computer, all that jazz. We're going to click on transition table and it brings up this beautiful little thing right here. So I'm just going to resize the window a little bit. There have been a few adjustments to this plugin as well. He's already started adding nice little uh, features to, to make it more accessible and easy to use. So to use it, we just press from the little drop down and we can select any scene that we've got. So if I say from scene one to scene two, I want a transition. I want to say I want it to fade and I'm going to tell it to take a second. Once I'm happy with that, I press set. And as you can see right there, scene one to scene two, transition is fade. A thousand milliseconds. I'm gonna close that down and let's go scene one to scene two. It fades in a second. How easy was that? Rather than trying to find it on the left hand side, then go to the top and try and right click, choose what one you want, it's in a nice little table. So let's do that again. Go up to the top, press tools, transition table, and we can start selecting some more. This time I'm gonna go from scene two to scene three. Have you noticed that it's disappeared now? You can't see the other one? This is because this actually works as a search function as well, which is pretty cool. So if I go from scene one to scene, uh, we'll say scene three this time, and I'm gonna put that as a glitch transition, leave it at 500, press set. You'll be able to see if I clear these boxes, is there, where is it? There we go. You can see scene one is all there. But if I now press from and go to scene one, you'll see that it does search there. If I change it to scene two, it disappears because it works as a search filter as well. So you can see which ones you've already set up. So if I just press close now and I go from scene one, like that, and then go to scene three, it'll do a glitch transition, as you can see just there. One last thing to know is when you're in the transition table, you have got little uh, boxes that you can see here. We can actually click these and that allows us to delete multiple at once. So we press delete and that's it. They're all gone. You can even type in these boxes as well. So if I've set up and uh, we want to go from any scene to scene one, we always want it to do the Andy Lippy split. We can set that. So if we go from any scene is uh, to, to scene one. So if I go from scene three now to scene one, it'll do my little split. I move to scene two, it's a cut. I move from scene two back to scene one. Do you see how it works? It's so simple to use. Uh, like I say, this works as a search filter. So if I create some more, and I'm gonna go from scene three to scene one, for instance, and we'll have that as a Luma wipe. I don't know what I've got set up there. Press set. And then now, any time that I am trying to decide, I want to go from scene four to, to scene one or something like that, I can actually delete that and search everything that's in scene one. So everything that's going to scene one, you can see in the list just there. So if I move from scene three to scene one, it'll do a Luma wipe. It is that easy to use. It's so powerful. It's so much better. And trust me, it saves so many much time creating different transitions for different scenes. It is literally the most powerful thing so far. And we're on day two 
of the new year. So I don't know where 2021 is going to take us. But thanks for checking this out. Please leave a review over on the OBS website, as you can see just here. Make sure you get logged in and leave a nice review. I'm just about to do it myself. Leave a rating because you know it's incredible. Look, leave a rating. Do it. Oh, we ran into a problem. Oh, I'm not logged in, I don't think. Apparently, I've not downloaded it. I definitely am. OBS is broken. <laughs> Put your rocket for the stone, guys. Thank you so much. If you do want to support me, join us on Patreon, okay, guys? Much love. See you in the next one. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full-time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.